In tonight's Health Watch, the Food and Drug Administration is recalling a specific type of breast implant that's been linked to a rare form of cancer. This after nearly 600 cancer cases and 33 deaths have been linked to these implants. Dr. Max Gomez here now with more on the recall. Doctor. That's right, and the rare cancer has a really big name. It's breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma, which will shorten to implant lymphoma. Today's recall is for the type of texture breast implant manufactured by Allergan. Sandra Rush is a grandmother who had had breast implants for more than two decades with no issues until April of 2017. My left breast began to swell and um, it, there was a hardness in it. What a doctor at first thought was a common infection turned out to be implant lymphoma, a rare cancer the FDA says has developed in some women with breast implants. Most women who get that cancer, like Rush, have what are called textured breast implants that have a rougher surface. They were thought to reduce the rates of capsular contracture, which is scar tissue forming around the implant. This can be uncomfortable, it can deform the implant, and that was one of the reasons why these implants really took off. While any textured implant may theoretically increase the risk for the implant lymphoma, 84% of those cases have been attributed to the biocell line of textured implants made by Allergan. That's what led the FDA to issue a recall for those implants today. Still, how those implants lead to cancer is not known. Perhaps the implant itself triggers the immune system to react. And we know that when there's chronic inflammation of any sort, it's a nice backbone for a lymphoma to develop. Oncologist Dr. Richard Baxt of Mount Sinai's Icon School of Medicine says the good news is that this type of lymphoma is highly curable. In most cases, simply removing the implant in the capsule is the primary treatment. In more advanced cases, some patients may receive chemotherapy and or radiation therapy. So the prognosis is very favorable, and it's thought that long-term cure is possible. So what should you do if you have a breast implant? First, contact your doctor to find out if it's a textured implant. The FDA does not recommend removing the implants if you have no symptoms, but do go to the doctor if you notice breast pain or swelling. And we have all the names of the recalled implants on our website at cbsnewyork.com. And again, this is a very rare type of, uh, of cancer, of lymphoma. 400 to 600 cases have been reported. More than 300,000 implants are done every year. So it's a small number, but it's a big problem. And are the, yeah. a lot of the implants those textured implants? It's, it's the textured implants that are at risk. Worth watching. Yeah. Thank you, doctor. Yep, you bet.